Guys, welcome to Sports Talk News. We report on sports. Sports Talk News reporting on the UFC. Darren Till, the Englishman, taking on Dreykus to please us from Africa. How would Darren Till do after a year off, a year plus off? Would he come back physically and mentally prepared to battle one of the top prospects in the UFC coming over from the KSW fighting in Africa? And listen, guys. This is the type of bout here that was popcorn worthy. Darren Till came out in the first round and listen, he started off going to the head with some clean shots. <laughs> However, Jerichus took him down immediately, got him down to the ground. And look, the ref thought about stopping this bout several times. However, Darren Till was more interested in conversing with the ref. I'm okay. I'm fine. Instead of focusing on his game plan, the first round would go to Jerichus. The second round, Darren Till would come out guns blazing. Jerichus would run out of gas. He was exhausted. Darren Till had several opportunities to end this bout in the second round. I feel if he would have just put his foot down on the gas pedal to the metal to the floor, I think he would have got the stoppage. It was clear. Dreykus had his hands down the entire round. Dreykus had literally no stamina left uh, from just all of the ground control in the first round dominating Darren Till. It takes a lot of strength and stamina to dominate a nearly 200 pound man for five minutes on the map. Dreykus was completely exhausted in the second round. Darren Till would land over 35 significant strikes in the second round just dominating Dreykus. Had a chance for a finish. We would go to the third round where Darren Till guys we forget. Yes his gas tank is pretty empty after two rounds as well. That's a scouting report. He does not have the best stamina. And sure enough, in the third round, you could see he was pretty gassed. Dreykus would catch his second win. And all he needed to do was get this bout to the ground one more time. And that was enough. That's all it took. Dreykus got Darren Till to the ground in the third round. And Darren Till, you could see him just give up. The fight was out of him. Now, listen, guys, what's next for Darren Till? Is this the end of the road? He has stamina issues. His ground game is not that great. However, look, he can go toe to toe with a lot of people. But I have to be honest with you. Dreykus, in my opinion, someone that box. Dreykus, his his uh, stand up game is horrible. He's going to have to work on that. He's got a pretty decent ground game, but as he starts to climb the ladder in the rankings, Darren Till was ranked, uh, what, ninth in the division? As he climbs the ladder in this division, it's only going to get worse. And uh, I, I don't know. Stay tuned. I could see him being stopped pretty soon with that stamina. He's got to work on that stamina. The best way to improve your stamina, you have to put your feet on the concrete and just run, 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 run. Uh, in my prime, I would literally wake up and just run 5Ks, 5 miles, 10 miles, 20 miles. Just run, run, run. That's the only way you're going to improve your stamina. Open up your lungs. However, though, uh, octagon training for stamina. Look, shadow box, 15-minute rounds. That's what all the greats used to do. Back in the days, you know, Boxing matches were 15 rounds. They weren't 12 rounds like they are now. They were 15 rounds. So the greats, Muhammad Ali, Floyd Mayweather, these guys, Floyd Mayweather literally would shadow box 20 minute rounds, 30 minute rounds, one hour rounds. That's what you got to do. But uh, Dreykus gets the victory representing Africa. Darren Till, what's next for him? We'll see. He's got a lot to work on. I think he's still a talent, but his championship dreams, whew, they might be all but over. Good energy reporting for Sports Talk News. This is UFC. Have a great weekend, guys.